Hello guys, me Carlos Santos, aka Happy Car and I fifty seven and welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat by Career Mode. So, so this is the cup my cup qualifying lap right now and we're gonna start at Bristol today, so I know I have a good qualifying lap going on and <laughs> me kissing the wall is not gonna help it, so yeah, some um, we'll be starting mid pack as usual and and that qualifying lap to be kind of uh, iffy, I'd say. Uh, I'll be coming from the back from there, and that's 22nd with a 16.428. So, so really, my goal is to try to win the race because, like in NASCAR Heat 4, I annihilated the field. And I got my first cup win with Spire Motorsports during the Bristol Night Race, so it gives me confidence that I can run very well around here, so. But along with track position, I can really get up there, so. That's what it'll take to, like, do well here, so. And I know because that's what I plan to do, just run all the laps at Bristol, you know without making too much contact with the race cars, you know, around me. And and let's get this so let's get this NASCAR Cup series race out on underway, so with the twenty twenty running of the Food City five hundred and the green flag is out. Me and William firing side by side and really trying to Get to the front, so I'll be doing it the first few laps in the race, and because of time and constraints on how much I can commentate and record, I will try to find a more interesting one, ones that I can commentate on. But otherwise, I'll just go to the end of the race if you guys believe. That parts of it is kind of boring, so. Yeah, it's like a long 30 to 40 minute clip, so. I don't want to keep you guys hearing my voice again and again saying, oh, it's the same old bristle, it's the same old race, you know. And the good part about this racetrack is you can go side by side as much as you want. You can dive on to the instant if you want, but. That outside groove will be the preferred line when you try to make a pass, so. So. But here, 20 laps later, I'm up to the top 15, so. Let's see, the caution comes out, and. What am I gonna do? Stay out. And that's the smart move, so. Pass Christopher Bell for. 14th, I believe, and and the great flag is out. So maybe I'll stop commentating until like the end of stage one. So yeah, stage two is not much of a uh, race. So yeah, this is easy. Just go in the inside, and just pass all these cars. That's all. And really, it shouldn't take long to get a stage point, you know. And, and like, hmm, yeah, <laughs> I'm just observing why the Benedetta stretch out that battle between him and me just a lap ago. So, <laughs> so he's battling Austin or Martin Truex Jr. for. And ninth position so far, so you have this is the end of the stage. Everybody wants those playoff point or stage points. Uh leader only gets one playoff point. The rest they don't, you know. So I'll stop commentating here. Try to find the end of the race. So you guys keep at it.
And so, it's almost the end of the race. I have the lead, and I want to stretch it out as much as I can and lap all these uh, cars. So, gotta get through all the traffic. That's what it's gonna take to actually win this race. Just lap traffic. And the caution comes out at the worst possible time. And let's see if I can hold off Denny Hamlin. So, you know, he's the master of short track racing in NASCAR. So, yeah, put him in your fantasy lineup in real life. As he, or he already won Kansas in real life on Thursday. So, yeah. Him and Harvick will go for the championship this year. I believe. They'll go after it when it comes to, you know, battling for that cup. So let's see. Final lap of the Food City 500. And Alan Santos is gonna take the win and punch his ticket to the playoffs. So his. Got a speed rating of 99, so... It's not a flashy speed rating, but... I know where I can... make progress when it comes to setting fast lap times, so... So here's some of the highlights from the Food City 500 today, and... Most of... The, like in most of the clips, you're gonna see. I just run the high lane. I'm telling you. Then I pass, pass Bobby Carter and Ty Dillon for position. <laughs> so here it is. Front row: Denny Hamlin and me, Alan Santos, and really. Man, it says Timmy Hill and Chris Bush are getting it together. Mm. I guess some of the four games kind of make lazy spins on the AI. You know, the AI players. <laughs> so, those are the rest of the highlights from today's Bristol race. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess then he will drop back and Matt Benedetto displaced him from the runner up spot so let's see where I am in the point standings I am fifth right now and I'm really satisfied about where my team's headed I'm telling you that one win will just give you confidence when Running this well and actually going for it, you know. And then Ryan knew is the surprising. Uh, I don't say points leader, but he's the runner up, as far as I see. Yeah, he's not supposed to be running this well. And I'll do the Richmond race right now.
as you can see here I am doing the trucks right now and I lost the footage of my qualifying lap for trucks so you're only seeing the end of the race because I don't have you know most of it so that includes the start of the race the middle you know I guess this is all I can work with so. Man, if Xbox made a better product, I would just keep uploading and uploading until I realized, man, I should have done a lot better. So I blame it on my part, so. Yeah, the number of views I get, or the subscribers, yeah. I'll put it on my shoulders to make sure I get the best content out there, so. Or for your content for you guys so so here's the final lap at Richmond Raceway and for this Hooter truck man I'm gonna run away from it as I extend the lead from Matt Crafton I believe yeah I'm trying to look in the bottom left and see who's in second so so Ellen says is gonna win Richmond Raceway, so I don't know. I know I have a lot of wins so far, so let's see, speed ringing of 96, not that bad. So I do my burnout and I'm tearing down the house, man. Uh, some will say burn the house down, I mean tear the house down. <laughs> Here's the highlights if you if you missed it. So early on in the race, I was struggling. I wanted to go to the back to see if I can work my way to the front, in which I did successfully. And then here's me battling for position outside the lead. Ooh, and I get into it with. Hmm. I think that's my Crafton. Yeah. Both the Matt Crafton and Grand Infinger trucks look so similar, but Matt Crafton, Matt Crafton's car is more fluorescent yellow than I believe, so. So here's your race results from the truck series at Richmond Raceway, so. I'd say not a bad race. I just keep running better and better, you know. So let's see the playoff standings. Um, mm. Let me see the top five. Top five, come on. So I am third with three wins and 17 playoff points, so. I'm more likely going to win the championship unless I flounder at the final four at Phoenix this year, so. So let's see. Right now I'm going to do a cup right now.
So we're here at cup qualifying so far, so let's see if I can turn the fast lap at Richmond Raceway for the Toyota Owners 400. So yeah, this lap wasn't pretty because the car is still nervous, like all around the track. And mm, let's see if I hit the wall. <laughs> No, drift up the track a bit. Well, it is a lot though. <laughs> yeah, not the best way to arc it in that turn. And they come out of turn four. Let's see what this lap time will give me. A 21.508. That is 24th. So, I thought it was going to be bad, but yeah, fairly considerate. Or fairly reasonable lap speed and yeah let's just let's just go on to the race so Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick on the front row stories of the race Ryan Priest Chris Busher and Clint Boyer have all kinds of mm, well Ryan Priest, yeah, he doesn't have the speed right now in his Chevy. Chris Busher crashed in qualifying, and Clint Boyer failed in pre race inspection. So, I guess I'm 20, oh, 20 seconds still. <laughs> I think they qualified behind me though. <laughs> So, uh, green flag is out, and here we go. So, and on the first lap, I hit the wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna go backwards on purpose to see if I can come back from this. So, Ooh, what a lick! What a lick, man! I mean, in one and two, I just way too tight. That's what contributed to me hitting that wall in the first place. So, yeah, I gotta take it easy on these lap first few laps, or else the vibration is gonna get worse. So, I'll stop right here and I'll catch you guys at the end of the race. So, enjoy the rest of this. Toyota Owners 400 and just sit back, relax, and get some popcorn.
So we're here at the end of the race. I'm in sixth place, and I'll be restarting there to see if I can win the race. So, <laughs> yeah. Who am I side by side with? I believe that's his Mac. And if and I get into Comboyer, and I get up to second. <laughs> Not the way I wanted to get up there, but looks like Kerpus is gonna run away from the, this win. I mean, this race in. And then Mac has once again with a 1 2 Tripkin Nasty uh, running order so far. And yeah, I don't care if I win, but at least uh, I'm in the playoffs right now. and. First at Bristol, second at Richmond, not that bad. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be a good points day, even though I don't, didn't get any stage points. So, despite that, just what can you ask for? I mean, it'll just keep piling up on my uh, playoff grid. So. I get second place and Carpos is your winner. Speed rating of 96. This is the same thing as Bristol. Even though Richmond was uncomfortable. In Bristol it was more like, oh, I can handle the tracks on fire. And those are your high here's your highlights from the race. And look at me trying to pass my Kinsef. <laughs> Which was so smooth. And then crossing the line in second. Yep. <sighs> Here's your unofficial results. And if your cars were a lap down, all the leaders passed them during the race. Okay, where am I in the points? I'm still fifth, I believe. Yeah, my net face not showing. <laughs> I'm just trying to see where I am in the standings. Well, I dropped back a spot, six. Hmm. I guess Kevin Hart is still your leader, and yeah, if, if those eight points matter to me. They don't because they gotta win. That's my opinion. So, so if you're part of N2SE4's uh, friends list on Xbox or YouTube, Twitch, whatever social platform you have, he's gonna have an Xbox or PS4 live stream next week, August 1st. So join him if you guys wanna race with him. So, it's gonna be an exciting Saturday, I'm telling you. <sighs> and I don't have my nieces walking in the living room trying to plead to watch Baby Shark or even Frozen, in my opinion, because uh, I really want them to have a good time at my house. So <laughs> that's why I'm haven't been tr trying to be active with my fans because. I've got a busy life soon. So I make a happy corner 57. Y'all have a good weekend and peace out.